Good, Good morning. morning from Grand Turk. Yes. We are going to grab some breakfast and head out on an adventure today. Now, you know, we've been to Grand Turk quite a few times. A lot. <laughs> we usually never have much of a plan in Grand Turk. No. We are going to head out today and explore via golf cart. Yeah, I'm so excited. Now, this is booked through the ship. It is a tour called Grand Turk by golf cart. Four-seater. Yes. Because they also have a six-seater option, but there's only two of us. That's but I think right. that's the smallest one you can get. Yeah, yeah. You just pay <laughs> per group, so you're basically paying yeah. for the golf cart Correct. rather than per person and all of that. So I'm excited to explore some I island. Too. I think there's donkeys. We go to a beach oh. and just drive around. There's a lighthouse. All sorts of fun things to see. But first, the fun thing I'm going to see is a breakfast buffet. Yeah, I'm excited for the buffet. Let's go check it out <laughs> yeah. and get rolling. Sounds good. <laughs> get it. Okay. Come with us. Bye. Let's trade deck six for deck nine. Ooh, washy washy. Ooh, we've got yogurt stations. We've got bready stations. That looks like something you can put all your toppings on your yogurt right there. Meats, eggs, fruits, breadboard. Oh, they've got a Caribbean poached egg brekkie. Interesting. Wild harvest seems to be full of meats and cheeses. Roasting pan. Fire engine corn beef with grits. There's more meats and things. Oh, uh, omelet station here at the distant lands area. We're going to start here at the Homestead Station where they have biscuit and sausage gravy or huevo habanero. And it is a buffet where they serve you. Uh, sweet spot looks good with the little grab it yourself muesli yogurt and all that. And of course the best part of waking up. Oh, they've also got lots of teas. Oh, lots and lots and lots of teas. Breakfast has been acquired. Woohoo! Looks like tonight is also seafood boil night or something. It's $35 extra. $35 extra. Okay, <laughs> same thing on both sides. Side note, silverware is on the table, which I love. They've also got a little thing with some prices for some beverages. Let me move my thumb out of the way. There we go. There's Bearson stuff on the back side. Well, let's do a bit of exploring this morning before we hop off. Well, here on deck 10 we found Club Hal, which I guess is the youth program, yeah? Cool. And more fun art. And now, welcome to the outside. They had pickleball start about a half hour ago, so we're curious to see if it's still going. <laughs> Grand Turk! Good gracious, D found the exercise equipment. Uh, Ma'am, <laughs> that's one way to wake yourself up in the morning. What do they got over here? So the jogging walking track is up here. They got like little swingy swings and a little saddle seat. And yeah, there's a little bean bag toss. Yeah, they had advertised, I guess, you know, self guided pickleball starting at nine o'clock, but no one seems to be pickling out here. <laughs> Oh, there are a couple of folks. Maybe he's getting a net fixed up for them or something. Okay. Holy funnel, you know we got to get that shot. Woo! As long as they don't blow the horn while we're out here. I don't think so. Scare us. <laughs> Little sun deck area here on deck 11. Towel station for... Huh. Usually where there's towels, there's water. Oh, there are showers. Okay, maybe after you work out. Just making things up. This is sun deck officially. Let's come look off the backpack. Yeah, we found Grand Turk after all. Hey there, Grand Turk. All right, downward. We're about to get in a lot of Grand Turk basking, but we'll do a little bit from above here. Yep, all the way down to Jack Shack. And what I believe is Governor's Beach? Question mark? Well, here's the side of this deck we have not been on yet. They've got a, another art sculpture over here. Oh yeah, the aft pool is closed at the moment. Very quiet up here on this deck. Very quiet down by the closed pool. <laughs> you can be the king of the world on the back corner. Nice, the wind. That's, that's, that's a good effect, yeah. Hee hee, I'm the king of the world. I'm king of pop. <laughs> oh. I cannot moonwalk, guys. <laughs> Now they're playing some pickleball in there. Sports! He has found more torture devices out here. 
Good gracious, we're on the other side now. Okay, that's like a one that uses yourself as your own resistance, so therefore you are your own worst enemy. I don't know. Oh, this one is a leg machine. Gotcha. I'm just a hello, leg machine. Oh, oh hello, Gage. We will be closing our forward gangway in just about 10 minutes. Oh. So if you'd like to utilize that, you still have a few minutes to do so. For our midship gangway will remain open for the rest of the day. Oh, you're moving on to legs now. Yeah, you sit in the chair and you just use your own pressure again to, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah. We got nice little jazzy tunes out here. <laughs> There you go. I don't know what this does. Feel the burn. Your stomach, I, guess. I like that it's outside. You can see the old sliding dome there that covers the pool area. Walk in track. <laughs> We're getting our steps in before we get our ride in today. Oh, help. I need to convert meters to miles. Okay, no. 12 laps is a mile. And we are actually walking the correct direction on the track. Yeah, counterclockwise. Look at us. We can be taught. Hey, what's going on down there today? S quietness. Oh no, more devices. These, I don't know. Are these just like push up, pull up things? <laughs> there you go. I think that's what it's showing, but I don't know what the point is of that. Oh, it is a stepper. Yeah, I guess so. Or there is a QR code that might show you like, you know, a video. How to use this thing. Huh. That feels like a push-up bar. This is some sort of other torturous thing. Oh, I see. You follow... Gracious, is that what the picture shows? <laughs> I guess so. I'm stretching. <laughs> Do not let me be your... Um aerobics instructor. <laughs> Your personal trainer now. Yeah. Lots of nice benches out here though to observe people acting a fool on these machines. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> here we see the wild mermaid getting her stretches in so she can go to the beach. <laughs> we have found an inside hallway on deck 11 which should lead us to the forward elevators. Time to go grab our stuff. Oh cute. <laughs> it's like <Thanks. laughs> quilted th things. Monday. All right, we've grabbed our stuff. One thing we've added to our arsenal recently yeah. is a collapsible water bottle. This thing is awesome. We haven't used it yet, um, but because we're packing and going so many different places, we didn't want to take up too much room in our suitcase. So this is cool. It literally just boom pops open. 20 ounces, and yeah. And you fill it up. It can do hot or cold. Silicone, so yeah. But the only thing, you know, it's going to be a little bit squishy, um, even when it's full. So just, you know, the grip might be strange. But it has like a little handle once you put the lid back on. But it's so easy. And, and it doesn't that, take up any room. Show that collapsible action. And it is currently in our Amazon shop. What? PayRoadDJ.com slash Amazon. They do have different colors, but we <laughs> needed do. them quickly, so we got the same color. Yeah, <laughs> that's the only color we could get shipped quickly. <laughs> yeah. Ta-da! Nice. <laughs> And we water here. Looks like it, yeah. I guess you just use a, it tells you to like use a glass or a pitcher to fill your bottle. Oh, it's clanky up here. Welcome to deck A. Back on board time is 3.30. A little windy, but I don't mind it a bit. Nature's air conditioning. Yeah, we are the only ship in port today. So it should be nice and quiet. Well, I don't recall these structures last time we were here. Something in development, I guess. And I've still got it set up where all oh, the free chairs are right here close by, which I like. Hey, welcome officially to Grand Turk. Thank you. So our meeting spot should be on the other side of the duty-free building. Oh, we're slightly early, but our meeting spot is right here at booth nine. Fun fact that I think we forgot to mention. Yeah. There are no excursion tickets, like paper tickets in hand, for this excursion. They're built into the app. 
So if you go in the app, there's a section called your wallet and that's where it'll appear and it has like all your information and a barcode that they scan to scan you into the excursion, which is good to save paper, bad if you're not used to taking your phone with you. So you will need your phone uh, to do that and maybe if you go to guest services, they can print them out or excursions, I'm not sure. Yeah, but they're like sort of built in or downloaded into yeah. the app in your phone so you don't need service or Wi-Fi yeah. or anything to pull them up once you're ashore apparently because they're coming up just fine. But Pretty cool. Actually. Yeah, something to note. Save the environment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, apparently our check-in station is going to be 10 because D is getting us all checked in now. Well, they've made the call for golf carts to follow this way. They also had some Jeep adventures heading the other way. Hey, washy washy stations. Oh, hey, golf carts. <laughs> that was convenient. So both of us got to make sure we take you out in one piece, take you back in one piece, not two pieces, all right? So we drive on the left side of the island. The other side is called suicide. But don't worry, it's a guided tour, so anywhere I go, I want you to follow. Well, they said any golf car from the red car back. Looks like we're in position four right now. Hey, D is going to be driving us around it's today. On the left side. Yes, but I didn't know that. the steering wheel oh is on the right side. I mean, right side drive. Ooh, we are learning. All right, we got a little speaker here. We got some kind of little volumey dude. They've given us bottles of water. We got the go button, the stop button. Oh. At least it says break, in case you, know, you don't know. <laughs> Just in case. You know, that's important. Oh, there we go. It was already on. We are off. He said, no racing, no overtaking. We are ready for an adventure today. Pedal to the metal. Okay, maybe not all the way to the metal. You know, you know. All right, we are just following. I don't think we really have to be concerned with the rules of driving on the left. Okay. As long as we just follow. I can do that. Oh, a little speed bump excitement. Oh, it can be, it can be dodged. Boogieing up the hill, okay. It up. Yeah. Where we're going, we don't need roads. I mean, we do. Don't you make this golf car fly. You better keep it under 88. I will. Oh, there's a sign for Jack Shack. Ooh, bumpy, bumpy. You guys, there's donkeys, or horsey donks. Hello, friends. Hi, baby. Yeah, there's donkey friends oh, everywhere. Baby one. Wow. Yeah, we get to take a peek here at the splashdown capsule. Whoa! Let me not zoom in so it's not super bumpy. Yeah, I've seen the uh, the, the thing at the port where they talk about the space, uh, the capsule splashdown from John Glenn, I think it was. Yeah, the Friendship, February 20th, 1962. And onward we go! Yeah, I saw the airport earlier. Presumably that might still be part of the airport. We'll make up our own tour as we go. Oh, that's a cute little sign. Aww. Never seen that obviously before. It's amazing the things you see when you actually leave the port. <laughs> what the heck? Shocking, right? <laughs> I know. Welcome to Palm Grove. Yeah, we're getting ready to hit a left turn up here. I think we sort of entered and exited Palm Grove. Another little peek at some beach down there. We're making our own radio as we drive too. I keep singing, baby, you can drive my car. Life is a high, yeah. And then one kind of rude, you say, shut up and drive, drive. We'll think of more. Anyway, we're, any, anything to do with cars and driving. <laughs> The sandbar. Yeah. That looks nice. Oh, that's beautiful. Turk's Head Inn Hotel, Restaurant, and Bar. We're just reading signs, learning stuff. Doctor's Alley. Ah, pretty church. St. Mary's. There is the museum and a foam box. And we are making a stop. 
and then we move on to another location. All right, 20 so minutes. Nice 20, 20 minutes down right. here. This is the historic downtown. So, 20, 20 minutes right the here. Whole okay. strip. All right, well. so I think we get 20 minutes here. <laughs> I got that from the yeah. these uh, orientation speeches there. They're going to blow a whistle when it's time to us return to back to our units or our golf cars. So yeah, you can wander around downtown, beach bask, whatever we feel like. Yeah, there was a little house I saw back there called Sunnyside. There's lots of signs and things to read as you go by. That was a museum. Front Street. Yeah, true, but no narration on this tour. You just kind of learn as you go. There's little speakers in the golf carts, but I'm not sure what they're for. They haven't used them yet. <laughs> nah, that's why I say we just make up our own tunes. <laughs> Oh man, I don't know what this property was. Oh, there's a donkey. Chi-chi-chi-chi-chi. <laughs> I think chi-chi-chi-chi only works in Mexico. That's what we learned. Oh, it's so cute. Are you okay? Oh, it's nature time. Oh, lots of shopping down here at the end. Yeah, we'll come back over here for some air snorkeling. It's just relaxing. Basking and relaxing. Good breeze. Lovely day. Well, we're getting an up close and personal visit here on the cart. Hi, 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 Hi. Hi. I mean, you know. How are you doing? <laughs> How are you doing? Oh, okay. Are you finding some food? Look at Look at her. Such a sweetie. Okay, go over there. Don't stand in the back of the donkey. Right, yeah, don't stand. That's right, the back of the donkey. Don't want to be there. Oh man. Yeah, it looks like we're getting ready to roll. Bye, donkey, Bye, donkey friend. Oh, on to some more fun. <laughs> Wahoo! Ooh, look at those badonka donks. <laughs> by whatever body of water this is. Hey. It's like a donkey in a little, it's like a donkey toll booth. What is he doing in oh, that booth? Shall, uh, <laughs> yeah, we're getting just a wide open country out here. <laughs> North Creek, oh yeah, coming up on a roundabout with a statue in the middle. Hello, good sir. Not sure who you see if we can learn about you as we drive around in a circle. Probably not. Mm. Good day to you, sir. <laughs> you look nice. Ooh, there's like flamingo dudes out there. We gotta go. Oh, bye, flamingo dudes. That's cool, Apparently, there's flamingos in Grand Turk. Who knew? Right? Guys, we're learning things. There's a donkey. Oh, there's a food mart <laughs> and a and donkey. That's nature. It's awesome. Wow, probably can't see them too well on the camera, but there's like, I don't know, half a dozen donkeys over there under that tree. Nice. This is like, spot the nature from afar. Oh, I see like a few more flamingos over here. Yeah. Oh, we've opened it up now. Top speed. Woo. <laughs> oh, that's a cool little church over there. Salt house, maybe, or, well, it looks like some salt flats type stuff to me. Definitely has the look of some salt drying ponds. They call this the White Gold Building. You can see the salt. We've got a couple of bottles out there, but you can see the salt gathering on the edges of the pond. Gonna give you a little piece of white gold so you put it back in the Always gonna retrieve some salt for us. What you could do, you could show it. Okay. In case if you don't need it, you can it back in the water. Yeah. That's the living salt. Now, back in the 40s, 50s, 60s, Good. and 70s, okay. we were doing salt in the industry here, in this island. <laughs> but we no longer do salt on this island. We do offshore banking and tourism. That's what this island depends on. Oh, look at all the flamingos over there. Yeah, they used to use donkeys as the primary transport for the salt. That makes sense why they're still here. Right, we've broken away from the group while they're learning about salt so we can come learn about flamingos. I mean, you know. That is quite a few. Oh, hey. 
you got some up on the land over there. Here's where they keep their D's back here by their flamingos. Isn't it pretty? They're tall. Tall like me. Me too. I'm gonna do some more flamingo and salt flat basking. Really cool. So salt, not really a major industry here anymore. I know that he said they've uh, turned to what offshore banking and tourism. Yep, those are their two main things that they do. Yeah. So this is a restroom stop. They got a little museum, I guess, that you can go in. He said if you want to buy a beer, you can go in there. <laughs> well, it says bar. True. <laughs> Let's roll. We're rolling. So we're on the way to the beach, we've been told. Now, I think we're going to Governor's Beach, which is the beach either near or at the port. So I think we're on the, the back end of the loop here, but yeah, we'll see. <laughs> back by the cool photo op cactus thing there in the middle. We've got the airport on that side. We can see over to our ship on this side. There's the airport. Okay, that's where the little capsule was. I didn't even register that when we saw it the first time. It's the entrance to the airport. Now, yeah, looks like this is our little beach access entrance. <laughs> bump and bump. It's not me. It's the road. It's a good massage. It's just a free massage. It's a feature, not a bug. We have arrived. Okay. All right, we got a 20 minute stop here at the beach. We've got some little picnic tables over there. Ooh, nice sort of abandoned looking stretch of beach. Nice. Well, with 20 minutes, we're probably not gonna submerge fully. Dee's gonna dip her toes in the water. That's a nice sandy looking beach though. And we can see all the way down to the ship from here. <laughs> Do some basking. got me. Water temperature's not too bad. No, it's lovely. Well, we can just walk back to the ship from here. Actually, I don't know if you can get under that bridge. <laughs> you might like us to return the golf cart. That's also just true. Saying. So pretty. Refreshing. <laughs> we got a beverage break. Dee's got a bottle of water. She's a designated driver. Um, I'm the passenger, so I got <laughs> some rum punch. Play it safe. <laughs> hear the whistle and the calls. It's time to load back up. <laughs> We're already loaded up. We did good. We're on the home stretch now. Welcome back to Grand Turk Cruise Center. And now we park. Splash Doors, we'd like to thank you guys for choosing us today, all right guys? If you guys had a good time, you guys should leave us a good review, please. And with that, we are back at the port officially. Yeah. Oh, I hear line dance music coming from Margaritaville. Hey. <laughs> back through the duty free. Yes, I believe we are going to just hop back onto the ship. I know you've seen us snorkel at Grand Turk 97 and a half times. But I kind of feel like I want to get a good lunch on here while yeah. it's still close to lunchtime. Explore some foodie options. More about the ship right now. Yeah. Welcome back on board to our home sweet home. Well, they've got beverages and things and I see face towels up here. Welcome to the Lido deck. We are going to grab some lunch because it is um, just after two o'clock, I think. How about this dive-in? Okay, that looks good to me. So we've got an ordering window on this side. Oh, they've got milkshakes for an upcharge. The food is included though. Oh, mobile ordering. Well, we've ordered and we've gotten our pager. So what is the grab and go? Probably basic cheeseburgers, dogs with uh, ketchup, mustard, or uh, mustard, relish, and onions rather. No ketchup. And fries. Yeah, we just wait for this little thing to buzz buzz and we are all good. Let us take a peek at the pool. Uh, what sort of poolside menu, I guess, as we sit here. There's beers and ciders. Wines. Alcohol free. And blue drinks. <laughs> Whoop. 
Order up. And D has gone naked fries. I got the jackknife, which was a brat, I believe, with curry ketchup and a sprinkling of curry powder. We'll have to open these up and look at them. D went with the one that came on a lettuce bun. Free dive. I mean, bun. Yeah. Um, I got the cannonball, which was like frizzled onions and something. And Buddha. buffalo fries. It's a salad burger, all right. I, okay, look, I have carbs, but That's this true. is good. I'm excited about this. That is a fun option. All right, you eat that. <laughs> Here's what mine's looking like on the inside. So bacon, gouda, caramelized onions. That's what it was. Oh, that was good. Okay, <laughs> that was a solid burger, I tell you. Boom. Good evening. Yes, it is dinner time. We are fresh and clean. Mm -hmm. First, let's talk about our day in Grand Turk. It was awesome. So fun. I got to drive on the left. And mm. I thought that was going to be scary, but it was really good. Um, Free air conditioning, really nice. Yeah, nature's air conditioning. <laughs> Saw all the animals. I did not know there's flamingos in Grand Turk. Yeah, so seasonally the, apparently. Yeah, the, uh, the salt flats, that's where apparently they're mm -hmm. always hanging out. And so many donkeys. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. a really pretty sight. Yeah, it was a pretty quick tour, but yeah. uh, you know, we were excited to hop out for a couple of hours on the golf cart. I wish somehow we had gotten a little bit more nor more narration, and I wish yeah. I could narrate, because I <laughs> can't even talk right now. But, I mean, for what it was, it was a good way to get out and see Grand Turk. Mm -hmm. Get him close and personal with a donkey, y'all. I could have just kissed that donkey if I wanted to. You could have. I didn't, though. I refrained. But it's a fun day overall. Yeah. yeah, we didn't get in the water. But that's I put my okay. feet in the water, but no, we didn't have a lot of time. Oh. And I didn't want to like be like soaking wet driving back. So. Yeah, <laughs> but thanks to Holland America Thank because you. they did provide that excursion mm -hmm. for us. Good day, though. It was really good. Yeah, let's talk about dive in because on um, the dive in lunch Ooh. when we got back on. Those burgers, that is probably, that is right up there for one of my favorite cruise line mm -hmm. burgers. The flavor of their patty is um good. I can't explain it. It's just seasoned like to perfection. Yeah. Even with no bread, with the lettuce, that was so good. And the dog with the curry ketchup <laughs> and the curry, you would know that was right up my alley. You tried it, it too, great. though. No, no, it was, it was really good. If you don't mm -hmm. think you like curry, try that because that's good. It's very curry forward. So I didn't yeah, think yeah, it was yeah. overly curry. It's a good way to um see if you like curry. There you go. I yeah. guess. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> y'all, we're going to dinner. Mm -hmm. It is tamarind time. Now, tamarind is listed as Pan-Asian. I'm here for it. <laughs> I looked at the menu. There's a lot of, speaking of curry. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so I'm excited. Upcharge uh, dinner mm -hmm. and let's go yum it. Let's go see what's out. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take the aft elevators up to nine so that we can avoid walking in the windy, windy pool deck because we are sailing again. Yeah. Ooh, cool melting guitar art. I like that. Oops, I don't like that I forgot that Tamarind is on deck 10. All right, let's go up one more. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. There we go, deck 10, home to Tamarind and to Nami Sushi. And we got a cute little table for two over here by the window. And watch the water go by. Yeah. <laughs> They're giving us the menu as well as the sushi menu, but spoiler alert, we are coming back to have dinner at Nami, we're planning to, another night. So let's check out this menu. There's our cocktails, sake, wines, We've got all of our starters, mains, and sides, and dessert. <laughs> Y'all, flipping through the Nama-specific menu, there's a lot of duplicates, actually, between the two menus, so, okay. Yeah, just the sushi rolls and all of that is the difference, because they've got the same sort of mains, same desserts, kind of good to know. So this is a shared venue between the two restaurants, I guess. Maybe if you're eating at Nami proper, you could sit at the sushi bar, but otherwise, you know, they've got lots of tables and stuff around. Well, for our starter, they have brought out, I guess, some crackers there. I think it's shrimp, shrimp toast or shrimp crackers. I think that's what she said. Okay, soy sauce, sort of a, you know, red chili, chili type of thing. Then she said this one gets a little spicier and this one gets even uh, more spicier. I'll so, be here. Yeah, you stay down here. <laughs> I might venture up here. We'll, we'll see how the journey goes. All right, I made my way down the heatness level, and even the red sauce is not blow your face off hot. It's got a good flavor. The uh, green pepper one is nice and bright. The red, it starts in the front of the mouth, and it slowly makes its way. Dee just bit it. She's making faces at me. No, it's just the side of my tongue is numb now. Right, it burns you. <laughs> it, it, it's a good burn. It's not I'll say bad. that. Because I don't eat spice, and it's not bad. Mm. Well, for cocktails, Dee has decided to go for the Far East Legacy. It's 
vodka, sake, pe uh, peach puree, contrao, and something else. Okay. I forget. <laughs> And then I got the Emperor's Nectar. I'll have to just put a caption up with what was in it because I forgot. <laughs> Appetizers have arrived. D has gone with the sampler, yes. Lots of different meats. And Lots of meat. Peanut sauce and pickled papaya. I got the lobster and shrimp pot stickers, which came with pickled ginger and a little soy sauce. And I got the, I think it was the Chinese five spice baby back ribs. Mmm. The food has arrived. Dee has gone crispy duck. Mm-hmm. That looks good. You got little noodles under there. I have got the Szechuan shrimp. Oh, I also went with the crab fried rice as a side. You have got mushrooms. mushrooms. I have also got the side of spicy eggplant. Dessert D has gone with the passion fruit cloud. I think it's a souffle and passion fruit sauce and passion fruit sorbet and crumb stuff. Cr crumb, <laughs> crummy stuff. All right, I have gone for the yuzu cheesecake. Now I guess it's more of like a piped cheesecake, so you get like oh, some dollops of cheesecake in there. I also have crummy stuff. Whoa. We're going to describe it. <laughs> Dick two, well, the dick. Let's go. Oh, it's ballroom dance hour at BB King's. Huh. So we've got canned music and folks just out dancing. I mean, that's a good time. Woo! If only we had just not ordered cocktails, I could totally go out and dance. I gotta hold this chair down until they come back. With. <laughs> Let's refresh our memory as to the specialty cocktails in here. Dee is getting the Blues Rita, and I'm getting the Rhythm and Blues. Very blues uh, themed. Bessame. I'll just sit here and sing to you. How about that? Or you sing to me. That, that works. <laughs> there are our very non-blue blues beverages. How about that? But I mean, we're in the blues club, so... <laughs> Well, the ballroom tunes have come to an end, but up next we should have a set from the blues band. Coming back into the world stage now for another dance production. This one is called what? Musicology. Ooh, quite yellow in here. All right. So we learned yesterday that we won't be able to bring you this show, but hey, we will tell you about it. Tonight, the Step One Dance Company is bringing all the instruments of the orchestra to life. Though I must warn you though, our pipe organ has been acting up a little bit lately. So please enjoy the Step One Dance Company as they present Musicology. Maestro, take it away. Because not everyone was here last night, we want to let you know that recording of any kind is not permitted during performances. So, if it lights up, flashes, or beeps, please put it away or sit on it during the show. Thank you. Y'all, it might be snack time. I want popcorn, because I saw it on the menu, we haven't had it yet, and I love popcorn. So we're gonna go see it, if it's good. I'm <laughs> sure it is. Oh, they've got movie time out here tonight, thus movie night snacks at the deli. So they've got pizza ready to go, everything else is by order here. So we have ended up with nachos with cheese, a chocolate pretzel, and a piece of plastic, which is going to turn into food here in a minute. Now we did learn, we came up here for popcorn, but she said popcorn is over. You have to be yeah. here in the beginning of a movie for popcorn. Makes sense, yeah. And then you wanted uh, some other kind of pretzel? I think it was a cheesy pretzel, oh. so not a, like a super sweet. Like, You're not a sweet person. Ha! 
she said they didn't have them. She felt right. so bad. I was like, no, no, no. It's yeah, good. So, so I got the chocolate. They make a bunch of stuff fresh when a movie yeah. starts, which we're more than halfway through this oh, movie, yeah. I'm sure. Um, so anyway. I'm just excited to have these options. That's so nice. But yeah. get here at the beginning of a movie if you want options of all the snacks, yeah. but a lot of stuff like chicken wings, nachos, they're making those to order. Well, my pager magically turned into beef short rib sliders. That's amazing. While we are snacking it up, we're like, you know what? Let's go ahead and grab and try a little bit of pizza. Then that's it. No more food. Well, we food. know when we're going to do this together. That's so. true. No more food after this. Uh. <laughs> All right, we're heading back to the cabin. Now, I believe they've got a couple different kinds of pizza on, on here. Uh, they're, we're making fresh round ones like right out of the oven. I just grabbed the sort of cafeteria style, I would call it, ready to roll pizza, which was pretty good. Oh, I'm bright. But I'd be curious to try one of their actual, like, made, made, made pizzas. Know what I mean? Good night. Good night. We're going to bed. Mm -hmm. See you later. No, we're going to talk Oh, to shoot. <laughs> we got to talk about stuff. All right. Let's, you saw most everything we did, but I guess let's talk about the show, which you didn't see. Mm -hmm. Musicality. How was musicality? Musicology. You? Musicology. <laughs> How was that thing for you? Now that you know what it's called. That's I actually right. really enjoyed this one mm -hmm. a lot. I understood the theme. It was all about music and an orchestra and, uh, and other parts of like music. Um, what I liked about it is that they would either sing a song that had the name of the in or have a song that had the name of the instrument in it mm. and do kind of like a funnier dance to it or it was like about the origin of the instrument where it came from and the song would like correlate to that really good dancing lots of ballet and like more of the modern dances um the, my favorite was the electric guitar for sure yeah the steel drum was really fun there was that was a good and then segment. the guitar was like a pasta doble so that was really cool mm -hmm. but yeah i really like that one overall. i really like this mm -hmm. one too <laughs> so you see you can change on the yeah. flip of a bing bong i feel like this one was more there was a lot more i want to say technical dancing as opposed to like oh we're interacting with screens right, and right. the screens that were used were mostly beneficial. It there was were, smart, yeah. There were a couple I could think of where I was like, oof, that screen is really distracting. <laughs> but for the most part, yeah. And mm -hmm. there was a lot of sort of like comic relief, comic bits yeah. and dances. That's and that true. helped. It made everything really much better. So definitely my favorite show so far. Mm -hmm. I guess that's it. Good night. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and pull out Let's see. What we're, I'm trying to think of names people have said we should call this. The Deets on the Eats. We'll call it like Deets on the Eats That's tonight. Cute. I'm just going to start pulling up y'all's suggestions and mm -hmm. just. We're just going to use them up. all eventually. So, hey, you started with this the. This is Tamarind. Oh, yes, Tamarind. Specialty of restaurant. What is that thing? Satay sampler. Satay sampler. Mm -hmm. um, it was very good. Everything was cooked really well. My favorite was the lamb and the peanut sauce. I don't know if I would get it again because it's just basically grilled meat, but it was very good. That sounds like something I should have got. <laughs> grilled meat. What did I get? I got pot stickers, of course, because anytime I can get my mouth around a dumpling, mm -mm, it's going to happen. I tried it. Yes. I, good. Yo, I gave two to Dee because I bit them and it was so seafoody and so right up her alley. And so you had a good experience with so them nice. dumplings. <laughs> they were good. I would definitely get those again. Mm -hmm. And then I had the ribs and they were, mm, the sauce was like sweet and tangy, delicious. I won the appetizer round. He I did, just have to say clearly. that. Both, I mean, mine was not bad. But, but both of mine bad. beat yours. Bad. <laughs> yeah, I win. Um, <laughs> now, entrees, we're going to flip the script. So mm. you got the duck. The, was it chili glazed fried duck? That Something like good. that. Oh my gosh, you guys. If you like duck, even if you don't think you like duck, it is so good. It was cooked to perfection. It had like udon noodles that were like really really tasty and then i got a side of mushrooms mm -hmm. it, which were delicious everything in the entree was so good now, what's your sad mushrooms <laughs> to be fair it is extremely dark in the restaurant and so i'm eating my mushrooms and i stopped eating for a minute and she just kind of took my plate while i was taking a bite of duck and i didn't realize it i was like oh I only had like five or six yeah. left on there. I had cleared so both took them of them before they were gone. I cleared both of my sides, and so my two empty plates were stacked next to yeah. yours, and she just came and swiped all three. But it's, yeah, it's I was fine. not going to ask her more. I would have because uh, they were that good. Yeah, <laughs> I got the um shrimp, and now I That's have funny. a little sad story too. It's a Szechuan shrimp, and she said, "How spicy would you like it?" And I said, mm, "Let's go mild." There was zero spice in it. It yeah. basically was like an orange chicken sauce on some shrimp. It was delicious though. 
But I should have at least said medium, y'all, because when they brought out those condiments for the crackers, that red one was my favorite one. Uh -huh. Like, it was not overly spicy, but it had some zing. <laughs> I liked it. So, y'all, at least order medium if you get the Szechuan, because yeah. don't do like I did. But it was good. <laughs> I would get it again, and I would say medium. All right, let's go ahead and put a picture of your mushrooms up there so people can see them. Okay, these are the mushrooms. Don't they look good? There they are. Aren't they They're looking gone. delicious? <laughs> All right, mushrooms, bye. Gone. I had crab fried rice. There that is. It was really good, actually. The crab didn't seem like it had been cooked down into the rice. It was like they had made some fried brown rice and then put, you know, five or six little hunks of crab on it. But when you blended it together, it was a good blend. And then I had the eggplant. This was billed as spicy eggplant. I did not really find it spicy, but I guess what they had done is they cooked it up and they used some of that same red sauce that I really liked from the crackers. And that's what was down in the bottom of the bowl, but I didn't really get it until it hit the bottom of the bowl. So it was good. Would I get it again? Yeah, yeah, I would. Give me mushrooms. Uh, yeah, and I'll get your mushrooms too. Uh, you had the passion fruit dessert. Passion fruit cloud. Mm -hmm. So it's like a souffle with passion fruit sauce and passion fruit sorbet. I don't think there's any passion fruit in the um, souffle. No. It was it good. Bad. It's a weird texture to me though. And I, maybe it's just me and the texture, but I don't know that I loved it, but I liked the flavor mm -hmm. of it. Yeah. A cold souffle. It was a yeah. little weird texture wise, because I kind of know what a warm souffle tastes <laughs> yeah. like, but I don't know if I've ever had a cold souffle. Uh, I had the yuzu cheesecake. Now, I was expecting like a hunk of cheesecake, and of course this came out, it was four little piped dollops of cheesecake in a white chocolate taco shell, you could call it, with a decomposed, is that what it's called? Deconstructed, decomposed is not a good <laughs> food word, crust underneath and stuff like that. But those four little bites of yuzu cheesecake were about the best things. They were tangy and bright and sour, almost like a key lime. Everything I love about a sour dessert like a key lime. Yeah. It was there. I just wish it was a giant hunk of cheesecake that tasted like that. Nice. Would I get it again? Yeah, but I would say, please make it a cheesecake. No, it was good. <laughs> yeah, we talked too much. It was tasty, though, overall. Yeah. It was. The duck, yum. Yeah, so i got to say thanks again to Holland American yes, Line because they you. did provide this dining experience for us. So thank you for that. That was amazing. That was you. amazing. <laughs> Speaking of amazing, I'm going to bed. <laughs> He needs to go to sleep, Good clearly. Job. We're going to be in San Juan tomorrow, but yeah. not until the afternoon. It's exciting. Um, adios. We'll see you guys see you then. tomorrow. Bye.